It's a dynamic space. It's fully exposed to the sun. It's beautiful. It's scenic. Every Auburn person I've been with, as they walk out and see the gardens and see the view, it's just phenomenal. Everything you see up here was really done by a student. They're here every single day. We've got people that focus on irrigation, pest management, fertigation, fertilizer, nutrient management. The amount of labor that goes into having a successful plant up here is uh, immense. So I'm Desmond Lane. I'm the head of the Department of Horticulture and I'm a professor there. So this rooftop garden is special in the sense that we have horticulture students working on the rooftop of a culinary sciences building. And I don't know that that's happening anywhere else in the United States, particularly at land-grant universities. Our students get the opportunity to be up there to help educate folks that visit there and then to work with students from the College of Human Sciences to see how these plants can be used in the hotel, like let's say cut flowers or for drinks or for actual food items down at the restaurant below. We're connecting culinary and hospitality management to horticulture, and that's just not something that you hear about. And it's happening starting right here in Auburn. Once the College of Human Sciences and the Horseshoe Sea School of Hospitality Management decided that we indeed would move forward with a rooftop garden, our first thought was, who do we partner with on campus? And the obvious answer was the College of Agriculture. We reached out early on with the Dean, talked with him about vision, and brought in the team from Horticulture to discuss opportunities and how we might work collaboratively and work together to give students in both programs the maximum experience. To give them the opportunity to see what they're studying in the classroom actually happen firsthand in front of their eyes experiential learning is massive. I mean, it is, it is as important as it can get, and to be able to offer our students and students from different majors, that is huge. My name is Jack Maruna, and I'm the consulting project manager for the Rooftop of the Rain Culinary Sciences Center. I wear a lot of different hats up here, and of course our students do as well. We're really passionate about the fact that we're giving them a like well-rounded experience, and we want them to engage with the staff downstairs as well. So they're getting to graduate here after having experience on the rooftop with this very broad knowledge that we're hoping they apply to private industry. That's gonna really improve their ability to get out there and market themselves and have an edge over students that may be at other land-grant schools. Opportunities seem to be endless. This whole project is so new. I learn something new every single day. As I'm working up here, things that I'm learning in the classroom are connected in the sense that I'm experiencing them in the classroom and then I'm coming up here and having a hands-on experience. This is for our community. This is for our general Auburn student. This is an opportunity for us all to learn together. And I think the patron and the guest that comes in, it even brings that teaching laboratory component into everything that we do, which is why we're here. We are first and foremost here as an educational program for our students. So depending on what the plants are that we're growing on the rooftop, we may actually start them from seed in the greenhouses. And when they're ready, we bring them up and we transplant them up onto the rooftop so that they can grow and get to the size where they're ready to be harvested. So we'll be controlling uh, our, 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 our product. We will know exactly the soil, the fertilizer, if you will, or whatever other elements that the agricultural school decides to use in growing these different products. It, it'll be in a laboratory, really. The logistics of this garden, I think, are the biggest challenge. It'll never be perfect. A garden, a garden is not meant to be perfect, right? It's, it's meant to be a learning experience. It's all grown with sustainable roots. It's a LEED certified building, so we want to do everything right and giving back to the environment is going to always be a big piece of that. There are very few schools that have a garden that serves their kitchen. When you look at where this is and you have a look around standing on the rooftop, I mean, it's just breathtaking. It's awe-inspiring, to be, to be totally honest. So this is just the beginning of many things to come for these programs as we look at our roof to table experience here and how we might involve others on campus as we educate Auburn University students across the board. We're excited to see what all this is going to lead to down the road, the stories that we'll be able to tell, but we're off to a good start. <laughs>